Hello, so this is an unboxing video, it's the first time I've done one of these. So in here is hopefully an infrared heater. So as part of our trying to reduce our energy bills, making the house more efficient, we thought we'd try infrared heaters. Um, we're not particularly keen on air source heat pumps. The house is nearly 100 years old. We're not sure what the installation is, uh, is like. Um, we'd have to work with out all the radiators and replace all those and all the piping. So we thought we'd go for infrared uh, heaters to try those. And also in the future, we could replace our gas boiler with one of these electric uh, water batteries. So I've to trial this, we've ordered this, which is a Karlstein infrared heater. Hopefully it should be a um, roughly 120 centimetres long by 60 centimetres wide and it should also have a pattern of a mountainscape on it. So we ordered this beginning of last week so it's taken less than seven days to get here and it's been transported from Germany. So according to the information it weighs 8.6 kilos. So let's start trying to open and cut in the tape. So here comes the big reveal, and it's upside, it's face down. So that's the way. So what we've we got, we've got some uh, packaging. We've got an A3 piece of paper with the insulation template. So some holes to drill. Uh, it looks like that's the remote control so this does is meant to work with a remote control timer and also with uh, google home and alexa we use google here so it should be good for that uh, we've got the plug to plug it into in with which has been fitted with a free pin adapter for the uk and hopefully now i can tilt this up it's upside down but so it's not particularly heavy. It's in this massive wrapping, just at the end of it. So So I signed up to their newsletter um, which gave me a code to get ten pounds off this. So the total price we paid for this, including shipping, was 160 pounds or a penny less than that. So that doesn't look too bad from a distance. We've got this uh, mountain scene. There's a frame around the outside. It's reasonable print, print quality on there. There's no pixelation of it unless you get in very close. You can see a few marks, which I'm assuming are the clouds. So the detail in the sky isn't great. It's a little bit washed out there over here. So they could probably enhance the picture um, like they've done over here but maybe that's the look they're going for but for what we want it looks quite good so this is going to go up in our bedroom we've got a wood burner which is just down there so we're hoping that this year that's going to provide the most of the heat during the day for us and then this will just be um, supplementary just to use um, in the evenings when we're in the bedroom just to warm that so I'll do a full review of it after a few months of use to see how it's going on and whether I'd recommend it or not. But on the face of it, it looks good. It will fit on the wall nicely and fit the general decor. So let's see how this goes.